On this um, lesson, we're going to be looking at systems. So we're still going to continue with systems, but instead of equations, we're going to be looking at linear inequality. So a less than, a greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. So we're still looking at two or more because that's what a system is. But again, it's going to be an inequality. So the rules for graphing two variable linear inequalities, um, you're graphing the corresponding line by the inequality and then... Um, I would rewrite it in slope intercept form if necessary to get your slope and your y intercept to graph it. So it says use a blank line to represent when it's greater or less than. So if it doesn't include it, it's a dotted line. If it does include it, that is a solid line. Okay, so to determine which region to shade, I'm going to use option one but you're welcome to do option two if you want, which is a test point. So I'm always going to um, look at my greater thans and I'm gonna draw an arrow straight above it. You're gonna shade above. And then if it's less than, you're gonna be shading below. Okay, key concepts, graph all linear inequalities belonging to the given system. The solution region for the system of inequalities is compromise of the region where the shaded regions of all inequalities in the system overlap. So it's where they're all shaded, all the points that they have in common. Because remember, when we solve a system of equations, we're trying to find the point that they have in common. Inequalities, we're going to be shading a, a region. So you're looking for all of the points that they all three or two have in common. So a system of inequalities has no solution. If there is no region where all of the inequalities shaded region overlap. So if they don't all three shade in the same spot, then there's no solution for that. Okay, so example one, we're going to be graphing three different inequalities on the same graph. So what I need to do is notice my first two are not in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. We want to get it in that form in order to graph these linear inequalities. So I'm going to start with my first equation. To get it in slope-intercept form, you want to get y by itself. So I'm first going to subtract 2x, and you're left with 5y is less than, you can't combine those, so negative 2x plus 15, and then we're dividing everything by 5. So we get y is less than negative 2 fifths x plus 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph this one. So it crosses the y-axis, because it's y equals mx plus b, crosses the y-axis at 3. And then we're using the slope negative 2 over 5. So I'm going to go down to right 5, plot the point, down to right 5, continue on. You need to continue throughout the whole graph because you're having to shade Now we need to look and see if it's a dotted or a solid line. Since there's no line underneath the inequality, it's dotted. So you need to dot it, which means it doesn't include the points that are on this line. So that's my first one. My second one, it's not in slope intercept form either. So I really don't have a whole lot of room. Let's go over here. So I'm gonna subtract x. So that's negative 2y is less than or equal to negative x plus 8. And then I have to get rid of the negative 2, so divide everything by negative 2. Now, remember we discussed this in the inequality. If you divide by a negative, um, negative number on both sides, you have to flip the inequality sign, so don't forget to do that. And then we have, that would be positive 1 half x and then that would be minus four. Okay, so graphing this one, we have the y-intercept of negative four, and the slope is one half. So I'm gonna go up one, right two, up one, right two. Down one, left two.
And then notice there is an equal sign below that greater than symbol. So we will have a solid straight line through it. And I forgot to shade on the other. So let's go ahead and go back to the pink one. If it says Y is less than, you're going to be shading below. So pick a point on the pink line, draw an arrow below it. Pick another point, draw an arrow below it. So that way you know where that shading would be. So I like to just draw arrows and then at the end only shade my solution, which, which is where they're all shaded. So the blue one is Y is greater than. So we pick a point, go above it. So we, it would be shaded above. And then let's go ahead and graph this last one. It's X is greater than zero. So that means it crosses the X at zero. So go ahead and plot the point. And anytime there's no Y, that means there's no slope, which means it's a straight vertical line. Now notice it just says greater and not equal. So it's dotted. So it's a straight vertical line that crosses. It's basically the Y axis. X, it says, is greater than, so if it's a straight vertical line, greater than, think of your X axis, greater would be to the right, so I would need a shade to the right. So again, when you're solving this, you're trying to find where all three are shaded. So if you notice, the pink is below, blue above, purple to the right, so your shaded, triple shaded area would be this section here. So your solution, you need to know what it means. Your solution is any point in this area. So you could pick any point in that sh double, triple shaded area and it should be true. So it says, I probably shouldn't have shaded as much. Let me go back. Let's lightly shade. Okay, so we're going to, it says, are the following points um, solutions in the system of inequality? So let's look at the first one. It says zero, negative four. So if you plot zero, negative four, one, two, three, four, it's actually on the line and it's on the blue line, but notice the purple line is dotted. Dotted means not included. It has to be included for everything. So that's not one. Three, negative one, one, two, three, that's right here. So notice that is in our triple shaded area. So that would be a solution. Zero, three, Notice it's on the pink line. The pink line is dotted, which means it doesn't include it. Negative four, two, which is right here. Notice the purple line is shaded to the right, so it wouldn't include that. It has to be where all three are shaded. And it has to be, if it is on a line, it has to be a solid line for it to be included. So only the three negative one would be in this solution. There are other points in the solution, but that's the one that's in this one on those four examples. Okay, so let's do another one. So notice this first one is already in slope-intercept form. Now notice they have the y-intercept first. So the y-intercept is 2. And then the slope is negative 1 -third, So I'm going down 1, right 3. Up one, left three. And look at your symbol. It says equal to, so it's a solid straight line. And less than, Y is less than, would be below the line. So draw some arrows so you know that's where it would be shaded. And then if you notice that second equation is not in slope-intercept form. So I need to isolate my Y. So I'm going to subtract 3X. That's negative y is less than negative 3x plus 6. And then divide everything by negative 1, which remember, anytime you're dealing with inequalities and you divide or multiply by a negative on both sides, you must flip that sign. So it would be y is greater than 3x minus 6. Okay, so my slope is 3 over 1. My y-intercept is negative 6. So it crosses the y at negative 6. And I'm going up three, right one. Notice it just says greater. So I need a dotted line, which means it does not include the points on the line in the solution. 
and y is greater, pick a point, greater is above, so draw an arrow above your points. Okay, so the third one, it is in slope intercept form. Your slope is one over one, the y intercept zero. So it crosses, we've actually already talked about y equals x before. So I'm going up one, right one, down one, left one, and notice it says less than or equal, so it is a straight solid line, and less than is below, so pick a point, draw an arrow down. Okay, so we're trying to find where they're all three shaded for our solution. So if you notice, the pink one's below, purple below, blue above. So it would be this section here would be your triple shaded area. So any of those points in there, if you wanted to check this, any of the points in that shaded area, you should be able to plug back into all three of your inequalities and it'd be true for all three. Okay, let's do another one. So this one's in slope intercept. We just graphed y equals x in the last one. So it crosses at the origin. Slope is one, up one, right one. Notice it's not equal to, so it's dotted. And y is greater is above, so draw your arrows up. Now notice on the next one, it just says x is greater than three. So that means it crosses the x-axis at positive three. Remember if there's no y, there's no slope, and that's a straight vertical line. Notice it doesn't include it, so draw a dotted line. So it should cross the x at three only. So that's how you can remember here when it crosses at x, uh, x equals three, it has to be a vertical line. It says x is greater, so greater all of your x's are to the right. And then the third inequality, it crosses the y at two. And when there's no x, that's a zero slope. It's not equal to, to, so it's dotted, so it should be a horizontal line. Y is less than two, so Y is less than would be below that line. Okay, so we're trying to find where all three of them are shaded. So the blue one's to the right, the pink one is above it, the purple one is below. So there's actually not a triple shaded area here, so we wouldn't need to shade it, we would write no solution, okay? Because if you can't visually see it, the blue one is here, the purple one is all of this, and then your pink one is just this part here. So notice all three of them are not shaded right there, only two of them. So it's where they all three are shaded. Okay, let's take a look at the back. So writing systems of linear inequalities, so this time we're going to be given the graph and we're going to have to come up with our inequality system. So you're going to use the graph to determine the equation corresponding to the inequality and then you're going to represent it as an inequality in slope intercept form. And so if it's shaded above, that's a greater than. If it's shaded below, that's a less than. And then also note left is use left when it's um, a less than and right when it's a greater than for vertical lines also remember your dotted lines are not equal your solid lines are equal so we're going to find each line so i would recommend finding the slope and finding the y-intercept so i'll just start with i'll just say this is a so it crosses at the origin so that's my y-intercept you're going up two, three, up three, right one to get to the next point. So there's my slope. 
my y intercept was zero. So when I write that, first off, I'm gonna have a y. We'll worry about the inequality in a second. So leave some space. We're gonna put three x, and then there's no, the y intercept zero, so I don't have to have a, a number there. So notice that the solution is shaded above on this line, which would be greater than. And also notice that there's a solid line, so it should have an equal to. So there's that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go do this one here. I'm just labeling it so I know which one's which. It crosses the Y at negative two. And then the slope is up one, right one, up one, right one. So slope would be one over one. So when I write it, I would have Y, leave some space. My slope is one, so I would just have an X, and then my Y intercept's negative two. Notice to get to this solution, I would have to shade above that line. So that's greater than, and notice it is dotted, so it's not equal to. Okay, so this last one, Notice that it's a straight horizontal line. It crosses the Y at three, so it should have a Y and then a three. No other variable, no X. Okay, so notice it's solid and it would have to be shaded below. So my Y values below the line would be less than. It is solid, so less than or equal. So there would be my system of inequalities based on this graph here. Okay, example four, we're gonna write a system of linear inequalities that describes the shaded region. So, so the, notice that these lines are gonna extend. So you're gonna identify the vertices of the solution region and list three possible solutions. So what I would suggest, honestly, this graph is not as large as the others. So I would go ahead and find your vertices, which are your points. Notice not all of them are crossing the y-axis and I need to know that to find my equation or my inequality. So I'm gonna find these four points starting out. That's negative four, one. That's negative two, negative three. That's four, zero, and two, four. So what I'm gonna do, since I can't actually um, see my y-intercept on this line here, and this line here, I can't see that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot these on my, bigger, my larger graph down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and plot negative four, one, negative two, negative three, four, zero, and two, four. I'm just gonna go ahead and just re-sketch this. Okay, so I'm trying to find the lines that are on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the slope so that way I can continue on. Cause I can see the winer set for this line and this line. So these are just extended. And I also have to find this line. Okay, so my slope from this point to this point, I'm going up one, two, three, four, left two, so do it again. Up four, one, two, three, four, left two. There's my Y intercept. I didn't do it on my other one, my other graph up at the top because it wasn't large enough. So now I need to do the same thing on this other one. So here's the point, here's the other point. I'm having to go down one, two, three, four, right two, down four, one, two, three, four, right two. Okay, so that will help me. So now I can find my lines, so the purple one. So slope of the purple one, you're going up one, two, right, one, two, three, four. 
which is one half, and the y-intercept is three. So that's y, and then leave some space, one half x plus three. My shading is below, because remember up at the top, my shading's the middle part. So that would be below, which is less than, and it is a solid line, so equal to. So there's that one. And then let's go ahead and find the pink one. So it crosses, let's find the slope. The slope is up to right four. So it's the same, notice these are parallel, so we could also say they have the same slope. And then the y-intercept is negative two. So leave some space, I have one half x minus two, and it would have to be shaded above for that to be the solution, so greater than or equal. Okay, so the blue one, the slope is up for left two, which would be negative two. And then the y-intercept, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So leave some space, negative two x plus eight, and it would be shaded below the points. So that's less than or equal. And then the last one, the black one, uh, the slope is the same because those are parallel, even though my lines don't really look like it. So slope is negative 2. Y-intercept is 1, 2, 3. Negative 7. And so I have y and then negative 2x minus 7. Notice my shading would have to be above the line, so pick a point and go to where it's shaded. It's above it, so greater than or equal. So that would be my solution of this one right here. I already listed my vertices, which are the points. And then we're listing three possible solutions. So you're just um, finding some points, 0, 0. Um, one, one, negative one, negative one. So those are three possible um, solutions of your graph. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know.